Welcome to sharing and exporting Power BI reports. In this video, we'll explore a few of the ways Power BI allows us to share the information in its reports. The top menu bar contains an export button. This button is ideal when we want to create a simple, static screenshot of the report we're viewing. The first choice in the drop-down is to analyze the data in Excel, but you'll likely see it's disabled. Power BI provides a different way of opening report data in Excel, which I'll show later in the video. The second choice in the drop-down exports an image of the report to PowerPoint. We're given options to narrow the information shown on the output. And the final product is a PowerPoint slide with the image hyperlinked to the report. The last choice in the export drop-down allows us to export to a PDF document. Static screenshots are helpful for capturing information at a glance, but eventually you'll want to show someone something they can interact with. The share button on the menu bar generates a shareable hyperlink. When our recipient clicks the link, Power BI will open the appropriate report for them. You may be able to customize who can access the hyperlink depending on your permissions. If we've applied any filters or significant changes to the report, the share pop-up will offer a checkbox allowing us to include those changes. When another user opens the hyperlink, it will tell Power BI to apply the same filters and changes in effect when we generated the link. This allows someone we share the link with to see exactly what we saw when we shared it. With these buttons at the bottom, you can generate a standalone link or forward the link to a handful of applications. If you want to export data to a spreadsheet, each visual gives you an option. To export the data from a visual, hover the mouse over it so this line of action buttons appears. You may recall these action buttons from other videos in this series. If we choose Export Data, we're shown a few options. The first option produces a very bare-bones spreadsheet, while the second produces a more visually appealing spreadsheet. The second option also allows us to choose the file type. Note the differences in the maximum number of rows, 150,000 for XLSX files and 30,000 for CSV files. If some of the unfiltered data has been left out, the published output will say so at the top. The file warns us because data that's incomplete risks leading us to incorrect conclusions. To recap how we can share and export. The export menu button is useful for generating static screen captures of what you see in a moment. The share menu button is ideal when you want to give someone a direct link to a report. And the action button is for the rare occasions when you want to manipulate the data directly in Microsoft Excel or copy and paste a select group of values from the report. Thanks for your time today and I hope this video has helped you. Check out our report-specific Power BI videos to help you achieve your goals, and I'll see you next time.